Hello everyone, good morning. It's Sean, of the, Sean Son of the West again. Um, I say I'm Son of the West sometimes, but we're all the Son of the West, so find yourself and you'll know your way. Uh, I'm coming to you today to speak to you about some of the sayings from the Gospel of Thomas. I'm going to continue my uh, my knowledge, spreading my knowledge, so that way others can gain, you know. So the only thing that we really can do is explain our understanding and, and maybe others can come into understanding. So number 38 of the Gospel of Thomas. I'm going to go through 38 through 40 today. And uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to go through number 42 today. i got about eight minutes. So number 38 says, often you have, des Jesus said, often you have desired to hear these sayings that I am speaking to you. And you have no one else from whom to hear them. There will be days when you will seek me and you will not find me. So understand that he was a person of knowledge. He was a, um, a person of the light. So he carried the light. And that's how those others saw God in him as they saw light, the, the knowledge in him. So that's what he's talking about. There has been, think about it, nearly 2,000 years since he was put on the cross. And that's what he's talking about, is he knew what was coming. He knew that the organized religious leaders were going to kill him. He knew that they were plotting and scheming against him because he sought to undo their power. And so he said, hey, I have this knowledge and I'm trying to give it to you. And you seek me to give you this knowledge without having the source of knowledge within yourselves. So... To have the source of knowledge is to know the keys of knowledge, which is the psilocybin mushroom and the entheogenic process. Uh, think about entheogen for a minute. E-N, enter. Theo, God. Gen, generate. That which creates God within. Entheogen. That's what it is, and that's the source of knowledge. And so there will be days when you will seek me and you will not find me. In other words, you will seek the knowledge, but you will have no idea where the knowledge comes from because the leaders of organized religion have sought to prevent you from knowing the source of knowledge because they want to be your source of knowledge and they can keep you having barely any knowledge so that they can continue to mislead you and get contributions from you. So that's what he's talking about. You will not find me in those temples where um, men seek to get from you because if they gave you what you needed, you wouldn't go back and they couldn't get from you anymore. So that's what that's all about. Number 39, Jesus said, the Pharisees and the scholars have taken the keys of knowledge and have hidden them. They have not entered, nor have they allowed those who want to enter to do so. As for you, be as sly as snakes and as simple as doves. Hello, it's right there. <laughs> they have hidden the keys of knowledge because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know the source because they want to be your source. And as long as they're your source, they can get from you. So that's what it's all about. Number 40 says, Jesus said, a grapevine has been planted apart from the father. Since it is not strong, it will be pulled up by its root and will perish. In other words, this world, this world is the grapevine which has been planted apart from the Father. So in this life, you're meant to become one with the Father. And you do that through using the psychedelic sacraments, the, the entheogenic sacraments. And that's how you will become strong in the Father's will. You will become the large, fine fish, as he says. And you will be... Uh, once you have the knowledge, then you, you have an opportunity to go back into the world and, and use that knowledge to help others. If you choose not to help others with your knowledge, then you're basically fighting God because God wants to help everyone. And he selects us through our willingness to find him. And in order to find him, you got to overcome uh, your fear. And so that's what the psilocybin mushroom experience is all about. And that's why it's... Uh, that's why it is the mana of the of of the father. It it helps you understand what this whole life thing is all about. And that's why it says mana. What is it? That's what it is. It's you eat the psilocybin mushrooms and then you figure out what it's all about. 
that's that's the thing that they don't want you to know and that's why we need to spread this knowledge so triumphantly we need to we need to scream it on loudspeakers we need to you know tell everybody who will listen because that's what god wants us to do god has given us this image and it has been around us our entire lives it's been around us for generations and generations and people just haven't taken notice of it they haven't thought okay why is this image in my in my experience so frequently it's hidden in right in plain sight and why have i not taken notice of this and that's what it's all about is you are born into this world in a state of unawareness of the father and that's what, how it has been planted apart from the father and so because you don't lack awareness you you lack awareness and you haven't gained awareness then you won't know your way and you won't find your way and you won't become strong in the father's will and that's what he's talking about it will be pulled up by its root and will perish is because you know this is this is another saying number number 41 says jesus said whoever has something in hand will be given more and whoever whoever has nothing will be deprived of even the little that they have that's what he's talking about whoever has something in hand will be given more in other words if you have knowledge in yourself you will know the light and you will be given life because light is life and you don't find the father until you're willing to overcome selfishness because that's what it's all about this is crazy it's been raining all morning and again the light just pours around in it's like there you go let there be light <laughs> awesome so at number 42 Jesus said be passers-by now what does that mean be passers-by when you're on the road if you're in a in a in progression to get somewhere okay so you're on the journey of life and many of us become distracted by the things of the world and that's what he's helping us understand is is be a passerby pass by those worldly distractions because your life is a spiritual life and if you get caught up in in clinging to physical things and physical distractions and and worldly self you know worldly life worldly pleasure then you don't find heaven you don't find life true life uh, you only find the the world and the world is death the world is selfishness the world as we know it today is hell not because it was designed to be this way but because we're allowed to have free will and free will is the uh, the source of the greatest good or the worst bad and that's it's because it depends on the choices that you choose to make and and that's what it's all about so number 42 says Jesus says be passers-by and it and this also relates to his other saying of you know if you don't fast from the world you will not find the father and that's what he's talking about is be passers-by keep going on your spiritual path and overcome the desire for these worldly things because the desire for worldly things is what created the deception that has uh, enslaved humanity the children of humanity enslaved the you know it's the deception that man used to get for themselves I've seen a video one time where it said you know you can't scare a chicken into giving you more eggs but you can scare a man into giving you his eggs so that's what it comes down to so you know life is an opportunity and your life is a progression and the energy that is within you is who you truly are not this physical thing you're in this physical thing you're in gives you an opportunity to experience but you are not that which is experiencing you are gaining the experience and that's what this worldly life's all about is gain the experience allow the experience to come in don't cling to that which you are experiencing so I'm gonna end today with number 43 his disciples said to him who are you to say these things to us you don't understand who I am from what I say to you rather you have become like the Judeans for they love the tree but hate its fruit or they love the fruit but hate the tree in other words he says 
you do not understand who I am. When you understand the meditation on the I am principle, the I am principle is the deepest form of meditation that, that you can pursue. And because it, it gets into who you are truly inside. And that's what you're searching for. So I wish you guys the best of luck and I hope that you can understand this because this is your life experience that, you know, you, this is your opportunity to see what's all, been all around you your entire life, see what's been around you for centuries. And these images are in everything, everywhere. And the truth is all around us every day. And it's just the people choose not to see it because it's easier to be told what to think than it is to think for yourself. And that's what that's what life is all about, learning how to think for yourself, learning how to make good decisions or decisions that, you know, that you can acknowledge making. So good luck. God bless. I wish you guys the best of luck. I got to go to work. Godspeed.